everyone, it's Julia. I just pick, recently picked up this fabric at my quilt shop and it has, you are loved, you are, are cherished. It's just a sweet piece. I love fabric with words. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I'm gonna be using it in two different projects, completely unrelated projects. Um, one of them, I'm gonna be using this frame that I picked up at the thrift store. I think I got it for $2.49. I love the color and also it looks like an old-fashioned ceiling tin. And also I'm going to be making an eyeglass case. And this is a template that I have in my Etsy shop in a different um, PDF pattern. But it measures 7 inches high and 8 inches across. And I'm cutting a piece of the fusible foam uh, with using that template. And I have a piece of quilted muslin that I'm going to be using for the outer and then the bright orange for the inner. And then also I have a piece of that strip of fabric that I have heat and bond light already ironed onto the back of it. For the framed piece, I did cut a little piece of a mat board or a heavy card cardboard, the same size as, as that opening. And then add, cut a piece of fusible fleece, the same size as that opening. And we'll be just ironing that back on the back side of that fabric. The fabric is cut about a half inch larger all the way around. Just getting that pressed into place. And then going to be adding it to this little piece of mat board. I'm going to glue that onto, into place just using fabric tack or fabric fused glue. This glue dries quite quickly and it grabs really good. So it's a great glue for this. It's messy. My fingers get all full, but it's great glue. I'll link all my supplies down, be down below for you if you're interested. And just using some Wonder Clips just to keep that into place until it's fully dried. That, that fleece just gives it a little bit of a, um, I don't know, quilted look. I do have my outer and my lining piece cut about a half inch all the way around. And again, my template, I, I use that template to cut that fusible foam. Now my foam is only ad adhesive on one side, but a double-sided foam would work just as well for this. Just getting that iron into place and I just have it centered on that, that piece of quilted muslin. Just gonna attach that, take that paper backing off of this piece and add that to the bottom. Just folding this so I can kind of see where the center front is going to be. And then using my heat erase pens, just going to be drawing a heart. And I'm, this is kind of a wonky heart, when, which is what I want. I just wanted it to look kind of like a primitive heart. And going to be doing the same on for this, the other piece using that same quilted muslin drawing a little heart. Now it's back to my sewing machine with free motion stitching. I'm going to be stitching this um, and I'm going to go around and around on that heart so it has a stitched on look. I'm not concerned if I get off on my on my line um, that heat erase pen will completely disappear with an, with my iron. And here we go. I'm going to keep going around and around. To attach my other fabric, I'm going to be going just back and forth just to give it an, another sketch, sketched on look and more of a bold outline. And doing the same with the little heart. Just did a little wiggle there to tie my, my thread, and then I'll just clip that tail. Quick 
quick iron will take remove any of that heat erase pan. I'm going to be adding color with my Koi watercolor palette. This is just a student grade palette. I use it quite often. I just really like it. I like the size of it. I have a rag there, have some water, and a big brush. The trick to, to this is I'm going to keep it really wet. I want that paint to escape my lines. So I'm just going to be dabbing the paint on. I also want to leave some negative space or some space on that heart that has no color. Again, just dropping it in. I'm going on to my next color there, which is very, a green, very similar to that frame color. Just going to add a little bit of that. And then lots of water. I'm just going to do some splatters. And that one I'm setting aside to dry. And on to the other one. This one I'm going to do more of the pinks and oranges. Again, leaving a little bit of negative space there. Dropping paint in. And here comes the orange. I love how it, it colors the stitch line on that quilted muslin. It's just really cool. And then doing my splatters. I'm going to cut the little heart out, leaving a space between the cutting line and the, the black stitching. I'm going to attach that again with my fabric fuse glue. And I'm going to put it off center so you can read more of the words. Getting it into the frame. I'm not going to be putting the glass front on this. My suggestion to, for cleaning these is to use a lint roller. Back to my little eyeglass case. I put the right sides together. I'm marking my opening. I'm just going to put that opening on one of the long so edge sides. Put a few pins in there and then to my sewing machine I go. I do have my zipper foot on and I'm going to be stitching um, right next to that foam. I'm not stitching through the foam and I'm leaving a, a scant eighth of an inch. That eighth of an inch will help the foam to lay flat once I turn it. Clipping my seams or trimming my seams. You can also clip this curve. I didn't do it on this one, but if you find that it's not laying very flat, you can certainly do that. I do not clip my opening. I leave my opening the full seam or seam allowance. Getting my fingers in there to turn it. And also using a little stick to get those corners all poked out. And now rolling and pressing. Ironing this also is going to help set that watercolor paint. Um, but the watercolor is really quite staining. So I have found that it, it's, it, I mean, it's, this is probably nothing that's going to be washed. But I have had pretty good luck with watercolor. I'm going to stitch across the top of this. 
and then also down the side and the bottom. And here's what it looks like all finished. I love the foam. It just really adds shape and protection to your sunglasses. And then the little framed piece as well. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. I've got some photos at the end. I hope you give this a chance. It's really a quick and easy way to add just a cute little um, a cute little words to your project and the watercolor just adds adds it over the top. Um, I think those little hearts would make a wonderful little pin too. would be another great idea. Have a great week everybody. Bye for now.